All right, people. This is Mac OS 9 running on an Intel Mac. It's emulated with a program called Sheep Shaver. This is it, version 2.3. All right. So, I've been messing with it a little bit. It's pretty cool that it, like, took the date and time, got it right. It put my um, Mac OS 10 hard drive on the desktop so I can browse my Mac OS 10 files. And, like, in the actual OS, you can put the little tab down there. So you can have them as a tab. You can open them up, close them, take them out. And you can use the keyboard shortcuts in Mac OS 10, and, like, just like in Mac OS 9 with the emulator. So if you press Command W... It'll actually close. And you have the control strip, which I don't have web access on an emulator, so I do not have web sharing, really. So you have, like, your QuickTime settings, display, color, and disk, and Apple Talk. So, let's see. We can go to the Applications folder, and I already have, like, the sound effects turned on. As you can hear, that's the window shade thing. So you can have it minimized, sort of. It's not as convenient as actual minimizing because when you do it, it's like still in your face and you gotta move it around. So if you want it kinda like minimized to keep it here and you click that when you need it and click that when you don't need it. And this is how you switch applications. Let me open up some more as soon as we get in the Mac OS 9 thing. We can open up Sherlock 2. Um okay, don't have that, sorry. Simple text. So, let's say we're in simple text. Let's do something here. Let's do outline and make the size 36. Let's highlight it all. And now do it. I guess we have to do it now. We'll do shadow and 36 point. So, yep, the word processor works okay. So, to switch, you, little, you press the switcher here and like switch to finder. Then it shows you the finder windows. Switch to simple text. Then it shows you the simple text windows. Hide simple text hides the simple text window. It's not minimized, it's not in window shade, it's nothing. It's hidden completely, just like in OS X, until you go to the switcher and choose simple text. Now the cool thing is, control click is supported in this emulator. Of course, right click button support wasn't supported in OS 9, I don't think. So you can like right click and change the desktop background and stuff. You can go through this stuff. I already changed the themes and whatnot. So we have that. Plus you can go to any of the control panels. Memory. Now, my windows are getting a little cluttered here, so what you do is go here and hit Hide Others. And they all hide, and then you just have this one showing up. Kind of like Windows' arrow shake where you shake the window, and then they all hide except this one. Only it's not technically hiding, it's minimizing. There is no application hiding support in Windows. So then you hit Show All, and all the clutter comes back again. Oh, yay. So let's quit this. And don't save. And we can open up like QuickTime. Oops, don't want the README file, so we'll close that. The scrolling does work too. The scrolling support was built into the emulator, so that works pretty nice. This is the old QuickTime player. Look at this. Look at old this thing is the drawer here for the channels. And this is. Gee, I don't even know what version this is. Anyway, don't have an internet connection, so I can't get to this stuff, so I might as well close this. Just Command-Q quits the app. And just put this off down here. We have the graphing calculator. These apps still work pretty well. Sherlock doesn't because it just needs a new version of the OS, so you can have, like, X equals 2 and get the graph right here. Pretty nice. And you can save the picture to the desktop. And then you can open it up. And here's the picture. And here's the little maximize button. So, we'll close this. And close this. Quit that. And don't save. Quit that. Quit that. And now, the button thing is pretty cool. But you just can't, like, drag the icons around then. Because you gotta click on it. So, like, the button itself. So, we'll close that. Ah. And we can, we can probably close the QuickTime window. Or QuickTime, you know, the Finder window with the QuickTime thing in it. And we'll control click and just move this to the trash. So now it shows you the trash has something in it. Control click and empty trash. And it's emptied. 
So yep, that's pretty nice. This emulator is nice. You can use apps on it. I think you can even use the installer. Once you have programs you could use. I wonder if you can emulate like the disc. Because there are disc settings. And there is an eject disc button right here. Oh, you can also go up there to empty the trash. That's pretty cool. Calculator. Yeah, look at this awesome calculator. Can't even make, you can't even change the size of it. So, you can also change the extensions in the extensions manager, obviously. This is something that classic Mac operating systems did, like what functions of the operating system you want to use, like QuickTime and Control Strip. Control Strip is this thing down here, like I said. Control the volume from here. So yep, then you can, when you're done, you don't have to, like, if you quit the emulator by going to the Sheep Shaver menu, which you can't see right now, I have it somewhere else, and you actually hit quit since you can't use Command Q because those are used by the emulator, you get this here. If you put it to sleep, I don't think it'll do anything because it's an emulator, but you can actually shut it down. And then the emulator will close. So, yep. That is it. And I hope you enjoyed. Again, the app is Sheep Shaver. I will put the link in the description here for this screen capture video. So, thank you for watching.